Hi everyone, this is Anterx, uh, and I wanted to break tradition from my videos and talk about the Mr. 12 volt system. I just installed my 2015 Porsche Macan. For those of you who have watched my videos before, you know that I don't really talk in my videos, I don't see the need for that, as I do some annotations in them when appropriate. But because this is a review, uh, and I wanted to show the capabilities of the Mr. 12 volt system, the video annotation will not work very well, so I decided to do this very, a little bit different. So with that said, I want to show you the capabilities of a new uh, Mr. 12 volt system, and while at it, comparing that with my experience with the Isudor and Joy system, which I had installed in my Porsche Macan um, previously. So with that, I'm going to turn on my car. And as you can see, I because I just turned my car off, uh, the 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 Mr. 12 volt system actually boots off very quickly. But if it was a, a a cold start, it would take about 10 to 15 seconds to boot up and and get into CarPlay. Uh, so with that I divided this review in several uh, in several parts um, I want to start with what's in the box first um, uh, with the joy system uh, that's an older uh, system uh, it has both an internal board and an external box the internal board you have to install inside the PCM uh, also the ribbon wires, the quad harness adapter, and the required connection wires. And uh, also insta installation instructions, they're not as good, but, but they're there. Uh, the Joy system also have a 3.5 millimeter connector simulator, which you need to install in the center of the console for your audio to work. Uh, this is the only system that requires that. Um, the Isudar contains an internal board, uh, which is the only thing you need to install that internal board inside the PCM, the quad harness and the ribbon wires and the required connection wires, plus um, a quite good installation instructions. And the Mr. 12 volt, same as Joy, uh, it has an internal board and an external box uh, with ribbon wires, quad harness adapter, in addition, this is the only one that has an optical optical uh, adapter uh, that is required to connect to the MOS25 and the rest of the required connection wires. It also has a, a piece of paper with a QR code that links into a website that's supposed to have the instruction manuals, except that it doesn't have the one you need, right? So I, I don't think Mr. 12 Bolt have um, um, developed this manual installation yet. I was able to install this successfully because I had experience with the Joy and Isudar uh, installations before, so it was kind of intuitive to me, but for someone that has not installed something like this, and uh, it's going to be their first install, you better watch my installation video, um, which is a link in, at the end of this video. So, for the installation, uh, all these systems require the PCM to be removed and opened. That in itself makes the installation complex for all systems, but all things being equal, the ISOAR system is the easiest to install, as it only requires an internal board. Uh, it is a cleaner installation because it doesn't require an external module to wire a harness to be routed uh, to the passenger's footwell. And, um, in, in contrast, uh, both Joy and Mr. 12 will require you to not only install the internal board, but route wire 
wires and harnesses to the passenger's footwell and finding a space behind the glove box to hide the box. I tried to find a location in the driver's side but I could not. I mean that uh, in the McCann is really compact and compressed uh, there so there's really limited options there to hide the box. Uh, the the joy system I found that system uh, a little bit easier to to install in terms of uh, that external box uh, because it has uh, longer wires and gives you more options uh, and to route that those wires and, and place the the box where you want but but the mr 12 bolt has shorter wires hence it, it gives you very limited options on where you can place it uh, as a matter of fact, I had to remove the glow box compartment to route some, some of the wires that were shorter uh, through a different route uh, so that it could reach a better location to hide that box. So I, uh, I'm going to give that this installation a score as well as the other areas I'm comparing uh, so you can have an idea of which ones I like better and, and the, the intensity of, my like, uh, of, of how I like uh, each system. Uh, this is a, a Santir score, so um, it is completely subjective, uh, and it is, uh, the score is 1 through 10, 10 being the best. So in this category of installation, the Isudar wins with a 6, it's very simple and cleaner, uh, but it's a 6 because you still have to take out the PCM. The Joy is a second uh, with a score of 3 and Mr. 12 Bolt, because of the shorter wires, gets a score of 1. Um, I want to talk a little bit more about connection and pairing. Uh, uh, so, so the Joy system being the oldest one had many issues with connections. In my history with Joy, I had to recycle power many times because it would hung and unpair and pair my phone frequently so I had to uh, manually pair the phone again um, very frequently. Uh, connection process was very slow and I would have to follow a certain process in order to connect successfully. Uh, if I got out of that sequence it would not connect. So all in all it was not very stable. The Isudar uh, system ended those issues for me. Uh, extremely fast connection although not fully reliable or stable it was much better uh, than the than the joy system uh, there were a lot of bugs initially with isudar but um, uh, they corrected many of them with the firmware releases uh, as of late connection issues were very rare uh, although they happen from time to time a big complaint about isudar is that it hijacks your wi-fi connections even after you turn off your car for about 30 minutes so you're fighting your car play if you're at home and the car is close to you um, every time you try to connect to your home wi-fi then it goes back to your car play um, for for 30 minutes um, in contrast the the mr 12 ball had been very stable for the past week after leaving the car off for a period of time and returning to it, the system boots and takes in between 10 and, and 15 seconds to, to get to CarPlay, which includes an unwelcome Mr. 12 Bolt splash screen. I'm going to show you that later. But if you turn the car off and return relatively quickly, like I did at the beginning of the video, the CarPlay will initialize very quickly, uh, as quick as, as Isudar. Uh, and pairing is very easy. Uh, I, I would think it's the easiest of the three systems. So, for the Santir score uh, for connection and pairing, Mr. 12 Bolts uh, win for now with a score of 9. Isor gets a score of 8, and, and Joey gets a score of 4. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about video now. Um, video with Mr. 12 Bolts is very good. Um, much better than Isudar in my opinion. With Isudar I experienced refresh rate issues with a faint line coming from, from top to bottom uh, all the time. It was very faint, um, you really need to look hard to see it but it was there. Uh, the Joy system wasn't much better than Isudar. 
there were modifications being made to the Joey firmware uh, by a member of the uh, list uh, where he changed the refresh rate from 30 Hz to 60 Hz with noticeable improvement in video quality but I never upgraded that firmware so I never experienced that firsthand. So the Santirk uh, score for video, uh, Mr. 12 Bolt wins with an 8. Joey gets a 7 and Isula gets a 6 just because of that, those refresh rate issues. I wanted to talk now a little bit about PCM integration. Uh, so when you install the Mr. 12 Bolt system, there's an option that is added to a tuner um, the option is TV and that's how you initiate the CarPlay system. With the Isular system you would long press the info button to go into CarPlay and uh, that created for me a fault in is a passive fault in the PCM system that I will have to clear with uh, with my um, OVD2 computer. Uh, it will not affect operation, but the fault was there. Uh, with the Joy system, you would press or toggle Navi. That button will toggle between the CarPlay and the navigation system, which is pretty odd uh, to get to a CarPlay system. Uh, I do like uh, the Mr. 12 Bolt method much better because it's really uh, a selection of a system when you press the tuner button. Mr. 12 Bolt has very good integration with PCM. Steering wheel controls work as intended. When you receive a call, for example, pressing the phone button on the steering wheel works. You can initiate Siri from the steering wheel using the phone button as I'm going to do now, and you will see that he initiates the uh, uh, city. Um, there, there's a screen in the MFD, uh, a multifunction display that appears when you activate Mr. 12 Bolt, um, as I'm showing to you right now. Uh, the drawbacks for Mr. Bolt in integration are that it doesn't leverage the factory microphone he, um, that, therefore you need to install the dirt supply microphone and hide it somewhere like I'm showing you right now to be able to use Siri uh, there's an, the, the unwelcome Mr. 12 Bolt splash screen during start startup which gives away that this is an aftermarket system uh, my president would have been having no splash screen so that the system looks more OEM than aftermarket. Um, yeah, this is really not an issue with the Isudar or Joy system. Uh, the Mr. 12 Bolt icon for uh, for settings in CarPlay, you will see that here. Oops, that one also gives away that this is an aftermarket system, right? So. I would have preferred an icon with the Porsche logo so that it looks more OEM. Uh, both, both Isudar and Joy have the Porsche logo icon that looks very uh, OEM. Um, with Isudar, Isudar started with a lot of issues in the beginning. Um, a, a couple of us were the first ones to get the Isudar uh, uh, system and, and he had a lot of bugs which they were fixed. Um, with firmware updates, but uh, it took a long time um, for some of us communicating directly to Isudar, explaining the situation and, and, and they coming up with a solution. So for example, the volume in the PCM was completely disconnected from the volume of the steering wheel. Uh, they didn't work in, in, in concert or in unison. The steering wheel became like the master volume and the PCM uh, became like the slave, meaning that the PCM volume, if you turn this knob, it would go as high in volume as the steering wheel volume was set. So that was a significant issue. Uh, imagine setting the steering wheel volume to a level of zero, 
then you can even I mean this bottom become useless right uh, this work well with with uh, cars that don't have steering wheel controls but it, it doesn't work well at all with uh, steering wheel controls um, so the other uh, issue uh, with with uh, issue are that we had at one point was that the back button in the steering wheel which is intended to control the multifunction display only also control the car play um, so every time you needed to change your view in the multifunction display you would unintentionally change the view in car play um, so for example if you were uh, driving using uh, a maps or a GPS application uh, and you wanted to see a, a message or a condition in the multifunction display then go back to where you were by using the return button it would take everything out in, in, in the MFD but also in CarPlay so you would it would get you out of the of the map application and if you were in a critical point in your travel and you get out of your map application that that presents a real problem right so um, all that wa was solved with the firmware upgrade um, also if you were paired to the PCM and and CarPlay at the same time like in my like like in my case and I wanted to receive a call and I, I pressed the phone button in the steering wheel the, the call would go into hold uh, uh, all these issues except that last one were resolved as I said with firmware updates um, the, the phone call going to hold was never solved um, a plus uh, for issue that is that it allows you to use the factory microphone which which the other systems don't have um, I don't remember having many issues with Joy in terms of integration, but it was very similar in operation to the Mr. 12 volt system. Just a bit more laggy in the response. So, in terms of scores uh, for PCM integration, Mr. 12 volt gets an 8. If you can get past the splash screen and the icon without these issues, it will really get a full 10. Isular gets an 8 with firmware updates, and Joy gets an 8. Um, I want to talk a little bit more now about audio. This is where there's a lot of differentiation between the Mr. 12 volt and others. Mr. 12 volt implementation of the most 25 optical signal transport uh, within their system uh, is is it was very good, right? The audio signal doesn't degrade. Uh, both Isular and Joy requires you to select the auxiliary input first before switching to CarPlay because they use the auxiliary analog input. And this means that the digital signal from your phone needs to be converted to analog in order to be processed by the Isular or Joy systems before, before it's sent back to the PCM again and, and to the MOS25 back to the amplifier. And that conversion, that digital to analog conversion and analog to digital conversion degraded the signal and it was really very noticeable. I did a, a full um, SQ audio system upgrade in my Porsche Macan to near audio field level and routing the audio through the Isola Joy system has a significant effect in the audio quality output. Uh, therefore, I, I, I had a workaround I connected the audio directly to PCM by passing the ISUDAR and Joy modules and I used wireless CarPlay to send video signal to the PCM and that way I could still see CarPlay in my screen while enjoying high quality output directly from my PCM. The drawback was that apps that use CarPlay to route audio would not work. For example, I could see uh, uh, ways or um, Apple Maps in the screen, but I would not be able to hear warnings or turn-by-turn -turn directions. Uh, Isudar had a better DSP than than um, than the Joy uh, DSP is digital signal processing, uh, and that ge that gave Isudar the edge over Joy. Uh, Mr. 12 volt resolved all that by incorporating digital signal end-to-end, -end, and the result is simply spectacular. 
audio is pure as if it was connected directly to PCM. And before I go uh, into, into the scores for this section, I would like to play uh, something here. You may not be able to hear it in the full extent, but uh, I'm actually hearing it to the full extent, so it really, it really, uh, it really is very good. So the Santir score for audio, uh, Mr. 12 Bolt wins hands down with a score of 10. Isular gets a 4 and Joy gets a 1. I wanted to talk now about audio tuning. Uh, I really wanted to do a separate category for audio tuning as it requires that we talk about this a little bit more. And for that I'm going to go uh, first to uh, the Mr. 12 Bolt setting here. So this is the main menu of the of the of the Mr. 12 volt system, and we go into settings. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more in detail about all these menu options here, but I want to spend a little bit of time talking about the uh, equalization capabilities and audio tuning. So in my case, I, I don't use CarPlay uh, module audio tuning because I rather do the tuning uh, at the aftermarket amplifier level. I have an AudioTech feature Helix B12 where uh, the tuning is really more precise and, and they have a really uh, an infinite uh, option uh, to, to tune my system uh, as I'm showing you right now. Hence, I leave the tuning in CarPlay and PCM flat at zero, as you can see there. But if you don't have that option because you have a factory amplifier, then this is really an important point. And that's why I want to talk about this a little bit more. So as you can see, the Joy system running ID Core had a fixed eight band equalizer for tuning. Uh, this is certainly give you more options than native PCM. Uh, to try to fix and tune your audio uh, a little bit better. Uh, but new systems have evolved and provide us with even more flexibility. The Isudar, for example, uh, has a fixed 16-band equalizer, which provides a lot of flexibility to tune the system you're liking or close to a Harman curve, which is a accepted standard response curve for enclosed mobile systems like automotive audio. As you can see in the screen, uh, the Mr. 12 Ball supports a, a 16 band equalizer as well. You can see here the base um, with, with, six, with five bands. You have the mid with five bands. And then you have the travel with six bands, so that's a total of 16. Uh, the, the main difference between uh, Isudor Joy and Mr. 12 Bolt is that um, the, the equalizer bands are not fixed. And this is really a game changer, right? Uh, this is similar to what you can do with an aftermarket amplifier equalization. Uh, let me show you. If if you want to, if, if you need to um, equalize a band at a frequency different than 2200 hertz, you can actually change that here, as you can see. And then you can also change the Q value. Q value is going to change the width of the band. So you can also change that Q value to change that width. So this is really uh, at 
a different level of equalization. It gives you infinite amount of possibilities to equalize your system and to tune your system, right? And it's the same for all the rest. So you can actually alter the frequency, the Q value, which is the width, and the amplitude, right? And the amplitude you change here, right? So this is the amplitude of the curve. So really, really neat uh, equalization system in the in the Mr. 12 volt and hands down the best. Uh, as I said, this is a game changer uh, uh, as you can actually equalize with an infinite amount of options uh, to tune your system. So using Mr. 12 volt equalizer, you could get as close to reference standard as Herman as possible. So the Santer score for tuning, Mr. 12 volt wins with a 10. Isler gets a 7 and Joey gets a 5. Uh, and the reason Joey gets a 5 is because if you go to, to the PCM uh, adjustment, it only offers you treble and, and bass adjustment. And, and that really is not going to do anything for you. So the PCM uh, gets a 0 on that. So I wanted to show you other specific features about the Mr. 12 ball system. Uh, for example, uh, the navigation using the knob is not as intuitive. Probably it's better that you just select um, with your finger. Uh, so this, I, I guess, I need to get a little bit used to to how how to navigate with the with the button. The, the steering wheel. If you have a steering wheel control. Uh, the diamond button in the steering wheel doesn't work uh, with with uh, with the CarPlay system in any of them, not not in the Isudar or Joy or Mr. 12 Volt. Uh, I I previously had it set to advanced tracks, but uh, now I cannot advance the track with my diamond button. I have to use the P actual PCM button to, to advance tracks. It's really not an issue. And now I would like to sh uh, show you um, around the Mr. 12 volt system, right? So you, you have different options here. You have the music um, menu here, or the music module. Uh, you use that when you have um, or a device that is not CarPlay or Android Auto uh, to play music out of the USB stick, for example. Uh, then you use that music um, option. Obviously you have the CarPlay here and the Android Auto mirroring. I have not tried that yet, but um, you would connect uh, directly via Wi-Fi to the system and then uh, uh, you'll have to disconnect from CarPlay and then you can mirror your phone uh, here. The Bluetooth uh, you gives you ability to play uh, music out of your phone without having to connect to CarPlay or Android Auto. Uh, video is really, if, if you have video um, in a USB stick, you can play it here. And then the settings. Uh, in the settings, you have this menu, right? So uh, uh, you have the, the house that takes you to the, to the original menu. Then uh, you have the, the back button here. And then you have general. Uh, the general in the menu um, uh, gives you the master volume for the system. And then you can also set the navigation volume, which is really a nice feature uh, because sometimes you, you want to uh, control the output of that of that navigation volume. Auto star phone link app. Um, I have not um, figured out what that is for, but I am assuming that this is uh, when checked. It, al it, it allows the system to auto start um, the link with the phone, um, so that's that's what I'm surmising this does. Um, the CarPlay setting, or oh, I'm sorry, the car setting. This is where you set your camera, uh, uh, your reverse camera. So in my case, I have uh, the OEM camera, uh, only the rear camera. I don't have um, the surround, but then I set this to OE, but you have the uh, other options here like none after loading track which i don't know what this is but 
uh, and then you have the after aftermarket 360 right so so you do have the option to select aftermarket uh, you also have the option to determine to tell the system when to activate uh, the the reverse camera so is it is either with the parking key reverse state or in gear position they have it in their gear position and uh, let me see if I can demonstrate right now uh, if I uh, I need to uh, to deactivate the e-brake and then go into reverse and you will see the camera it actually goes to the PCM to uh, it actually goes to the PCM to activate the camera in the PCM so so it interacts with the PCM to uh, to accomplish this right and then when you go back to your gear it should go back to to the to the to the CarPlay. If you were to do this in CarPlay, let's do it in CarPlay. Right, you're in CarPlay and you go in reverse. Then the same thing ha should happen, right? It goes to the PCM and then it goes back to to CarPlay directly. All right. So let's go to the menu again settings All right so that's it uh, um, the rest of the option like starting from from starting from view this is a um, it's a timer so I don't know what this does reverse track reverse radar I'm guessing these are for your aftermarket camera so I'm not using that display uh, you you have some three settings to control the, the, the brightness contrast and saturation of the screen it, 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 you can adjust uh, these uh, parameters for the video then uh, sound we just were there so um, you have the ability to to set your tuning there you have uh, user specified and, and and if you want to flatten everything then you go to flat and then you have the language and um, and system right system information this is where you would do a factory reset or you would also uh, do the firmware updates when when available so that's it Thanks a lot for watching and uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.